Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more modded Mass Effect 3. This is Hill. And we're here with Leon Shepard. And we're going to continue on the Citadel with our modded adventures. Now I'm starting to see something that is a little bit concerning. These Asari are wearing all black. And it probably means that some textures got messed up. So we're going to continue. Let's see how severe this problem is. Welcome, Commander Shepard. All right, we're going to head to Huerta Memorial Hospital, where Ashley has been admitted. And I'm kind of baffled as to why some of those textures might have gotten m messed up. Apparently it's only the Asari whatever commandos it looks like. All right, let's stop here. Welcome to Serta. And we are going to since um Ashley is Shepard's love interest by everything we can. To help her feel better. And I know she especially liked Tennyson. And how much? Oh, we've got plenty of money. Let's increase our Metagel capacity while we're here. In fact, we're just going to get everything. So, even, even if... You know, we've selected something that she doesn't like. I'm sure there must be something in this uh, collection of items that she will like. Wait. I think I see some familiar faces over here. I'm just waiting for all these things to uh, ring up here. I mean, what would happen if we missed this interaction? Dr. Chakwas. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Well, you belong on the Normandy. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. <laughs> Welcome aboard. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. All right, even in these trying times, Shepard still seems to have a bit of a sense of humor here. He's going to need it. This, this is just always trips me out that this man is so ill, injured, whatever it is, that he's writhing on the floor and nobody's trying to help him. I would hate for that to be me. I'm, I'm telling you. It's like, 
And look, here's another guy writhing, but at least he's on a bed. Wow. Anyway. All right, let's go see Ashley. Ash. Hey. It's Shepard. I should have known you'd pull through. You're stubborn. Always were. Scared me pretty bad back there on Mars. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Thinking about you. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Well, I guess it was a bit premature to buy all of those gifts. Since she is, uh... I don't know, I'm hoping she's not comatose, but she might be comatose. But yeah, that is really not good. Um, I'm not sure at this stage of the game. I know there are side quests that we can pick up. But this might be too early since we've just started the game. We have to overhear certain conversations. But I think... I think we uh, will have to do this later. Yeah, it's too early. That's pretty cool, though, that we're not going to be bombarded with all these side quests. Like in some games, when you first start, it's like, oh my goodness, what do I do first? Okay, well, I think we're done here at the hospital. Citadel Embassies. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Hmm. Yeah, this place, the frame rate always dips quite heavily due to the population. All these people. And I even increased, uh, the RAM on my computer since the last time I played and it's still hiccuping. Well, I'm glad to see it only seems to be one texture that might be affected. Everybody else looks pretty good. Let's uh, check in on Commander Bailey. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. <laughs> Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. I really like the silver hair. I mean, it really... Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. It really keeps the continuity from and two to press. three. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. Hmm. Bear with it. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. Oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. All right, well, we're collecting that Paragon. Score, it's going up. 
And let's head on into Udina's office. Commander, Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Counselor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? I believe in trying. Now, this is in contradiction to the conversation that he had with Liara on board the Normandy, where it seems like he'd already given up. Liara believes it can work. Oh, and Liara, so okay. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared. And we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. I don't see how that helps me. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day.
Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. All right, more Paragon. I hope that helps. And let's just chat with the Dino. We'll wait for these things in the bottom right here to go away. But we've unlocked some new information for the Codex. The Reaper capabilities. Interesting. The Council. You saved their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Um... Well, let's ask about Earth. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites in the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. Let's ask about Council Leverage. What's your read on the Counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. In Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans. And there's a need there. All right. That's enough. I should go. I'll be here. All right, let's check out the Spectre Quarters. I don't know if there's anything available. Garmer, heavy assault armor. And what have we got here? Welcome. Okay. All right. Oh, we got an update. All right, the shooting gallery, if, if you've never played Mass Effect 3, is in here where you can practice with different weapons. So, we have saved, it seems, in this save, we saved the uh, original council. Because he tries to do the right thing, the good thing. He's a paragon. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. All right. Commander Shepard. Kalisa bent seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is mm. that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm going to stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. 
Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. All right. We haven't always seen eye to eye. No, we have. But I'm glad you're on our side. Well, a kinder, gentler shepherd, and look at this, we have a war asset. Pretty cool. All right, James. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. It's hard to believe. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm going to head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. All right. I think we can head out. Not sure if there are any other stops here. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Yeah, I can only go to the hospital and back to the dock. One moment, please. Looks like the, the lower decks are not an option. Normally I would ignore her, but since this is a Paragon playthrough, let's see what happens. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you wanted an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all Council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? All right, let's do a trial run. Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm surprised you didn't complain about one foot locker. Looks like the type of woman that would, uh, you know, carry a lot of baggage with her. All right. I think that's uh, all for now. All right, I'm a little nervous about this. Let me just save my game. <laughs> Gosh. We're about to trigger one of the mods, Better Dreams. And I'm just hoping it doesn't crash the game. Here we go.
Excellent. Oh, that was good. Hats off to the mod maker, really. That was so appropriate. Now that's the kind of stuff you would do, you would wake up from shaking. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I've been better. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Ash getting hurt? People around me have a tendency to get hurt. Or worse. Ash is just the latest in a long line. She's a soldier like you. And she's a fighter. If anyone can get better on Will alone, it's her. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. It's okay. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI, fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. I understand their concerns. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. 
The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. And Earth? What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. All right, we have a lot of updates here. And I think we will just go ahead and walk to the CIC while everything is updating. We don't really need to look at our war terminal just yet since uh, we're at the very beginning of all this. Wow, I'm still reeling from better dreams. That was amazing. That montage of some of the, the, the worst parts of, of Mass Effect that, that Shepard had to endure. Nice. Oh, uh, yes, whatever, as you were. has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Really? Cerberus on Sanctum. Okay. And let's see, uh... Which one of these terminals is War Terminal? Okay, so we can look at the... This is the same information I think we would get from the War Terminal in the room that we just came from, and... Private Terminal. Lots of stuff here, and in this playthrough again, we are just going to try to make this quick. Because, you know, I actually read most of these in, in, in the other playthrough, and again, the link to that playthrough is in the description if you want to see a lengthier, more drawn out, more complete playthrough. And I will, you know, let anyone pause this if they want to read. Alright, so we've got a lot of weapons. I think this is from one of the, uh, I don't know what you call it, one of those packs. One of those, uh, it was a, a DLC. Pack that you could purchase is I've got all the content from Mass Effect 3, all the extras and stuff. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna stop here. Oh, we've got more updates. But um, yeah. In our next episode, I guess I'll flip a coin and decide where we're going to go. But it is going to be action and combat. I'm sure you're all looking forward to that. All right, until next time, this is Hill, and I'm out.